Today I'm going to show you how to transfer an inked print onto a fingerprint card. Um, so I just have a plain um, standard print card here and then I also have a um, ink pad. This is a Printmatic ink pad from Searchy. Um, it opens kind of like a makeup compact mite and so you have um, just the lid on one side and then this side contains the ink. Um, it's a little bit different than what you might um, have seen before from like a craft supply store or something like that, where if you press down with a stamp or um, anything like that, the ink kind of oozes out of the ink pad. This is pretty solid. And so if I just kind of lightly press down and apply just ever so slight pressure, you can see that the ink transfers really well um, onto my finger pad. And so if I just kind of apply some light pressure and lift straight up, um, what you'll notice is a really clean um, ink print transfer. Um, when we look at this, this is kind of a typical fingerprint that you might see if you Googled um, an image search for a fingerprint. And it has this really nice um, elliptical or oval shape to it. Um, and from a standpoint of investigating fingerprints um, and looking at um, little details that could help us make an identification, we're actually missing quite a lot of information um, from the fingerprint on each of these two sides. So when we transfer an inked print from um, a fingertip, we don't wanna just apply straight pressure. We wanna make sure that we get the um, ridge details from both of the sides as well. So um, this is why we're going to roll the fingerprint. So this time, instead of just applying pressure straight down, I'm actually going to place my fingertip on its side, almost to the edge of my nail bed. And then I'm gonna roll my finger all the way across to the other side. So if I look now, you can see that there is ink all the way over on kind of both of these um, sides of my fingertip. So now I'm going to turn my finger upside down. Instead of applying straight down, I'm actually going to use my other hand to help support it and hold it on its direct side to get that edge of where the ink first is. And then I'm gonna use this finger to support a roll all the way to the opposite side. And now if you look at that fingerprint that we've captured, it has a very different shape than what we saw before. This has much more of kind of a boxy shape to it. It's a little more square or rectangular um, and just allows us to see a lot more detail than what we saw um, before. So you can kind of compare these two images. Okay, so a couple of techniques to keep in mind. Um, if I get a fresh card here, we wanna make sure that when we apply our finger tip down and apply slight pressure, we keep the roll continuous and we don't kind of stop or truncate that roll. Meaning if I'm rolling my fingerprint, I'm not going to stop and pause and then continue the roll because that will introduce some blurring of the lines. No matter how careful you are, um, it's going to kind of create like a hesitant line um, that will look like a crescent across the middle of the print. And that could potentially blur some important key details to the fingerprint that we don't want to miss. The other tip is to always roll away from the body, um, meaning that if I have my center midline of my body that I start in the middle, I'm going to roll outwards away to the shoulder or outer edge of my body in the direction um, of whichever hand I'm printing. So if I'm printing my right hand, I'm going to make sure that I'm always rolling outwards to the right. So let me show you how that works one more time. I'm gonna roll my fingertip across the ink to make sure that I have ink to transfer over the entire surface. I'm going to place it on the side of my finger that's on the side of the midline of my body in the middle and I'm gonna rotate outwards to the outside of my body. Um, if this is my right hand, I'm moving outwards to the right. If you try to roll inwards, um, what happens is your shoulder joint kind of gets caught. It doesn't have as wide of a range of motion rolling inwards than it does outwards. So if you maintain kind of that idea of always rolling out um, or to the outer edge, that should ensure that you get a really nice um, square boxy fingerprint.